How many clarinetists does it take to change a light bulb? Well, you're going to have to watch the rest of this video to find out. My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually going to do a video ranking jokes about the clarinet. I think this is kind of a fun idea. It's a little different than my normal, more educational content. Don't worry if you really like that stuff. Uh, I'll be back to the normal, uh, good educational content next week. But I thought it would just be fun to do a little bit of a different video and talk about some of the clarinet jokes. There's so many band jokes, and some of them are really great. Some of them are not so great. Most of them are extremely cheesy, but I thought it'd be fun to go through them and rank some of them. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. And the way I'm gonna do it is sort of like a tier list. And I'm gonna start in what I'm calling F tier. And then I'm gonna skip D because what is a D if not also just an F? Uh, and then I'm gonna go to C, B, and A tier for the best jokes and work our way up through the bad ones. So starting in F tier, we have some just not very interesting or very creative jokes. We have, uh, how do you, you make a clarinet sound beautiful? Sell it and buy a flute. These kinds of jokes are fine, but they're really interchangeable with any instrument or any situation. That's why I put them in F tier. They're not very creative. They're not very unique to the clarinet. Uh, and you could easily say the same thing. How do you make a flute sound beautiful? Sell it and buy a clarinet, obviously. That joke would work even better for saxophone selling it for a clarinet, but I'll, I'll not uh, put my uh, own opinion in. Uh, how do you stop an oboe from being stolen? Put it in a clarinet case. Same thing, generic, interchangeable. Uh, what does a clarinet and a baseball have in common? People cheer when you hit them with a bat. I don't know anybody who would cheer when you hit a clarinet with a bat, but I get it. It's like, ha ha, clarinet's bad. Let's let's hit it with a bat. Uh, we don't want to hear clarinet. Uh, what do you call a line set up by clarinetists? A circle. Like, that's not even funny. There's no joke to that. It's just saying clarinetists are bad at making straight lines. I don't get it. Uh, and what do you call 20 clarinetists at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. That one's like a tiny bit funny, but the same, like you could put anything in there. Um, so those are the F tier jokes. I sort of skimmed through those quickly because they're not great, but let's move on to C tier. Uh, C tier is a little bit more entertaining, still a little generic, but at least these ones start to get funny, I think. So is there any difference between the sound of a clarinet and that of a cat in heat? Of course there is, but only if the cat's in good health. I think this one's a little bit more clarinet specific. You could still kind of say that about anything, but I, I think it's a, a good punchline, uh, really, really good quality joke, like a nice C tier there. And feel free to steal any of these jokes that you like and share them with your clarinet friends because they're really good ones. Um, I should probably also mention my source. I just Googled clarinet jokes and found as many as I could. Um, there were a lot of repeat ones actually. So continuing on with C tier, what does a clarinet and a lawsuit have in common? Everyone is relieved when the case is closed. Now that one's, that one's a little clever. We're saying we don't want to hear the screeching clarinet, put it back in the case. Lawsuit, obviously, when the case is closed. But again, pretty generic, could work for all instruments, really. Um, and finally, in C tier, what do you call a successful clarinetist? And this one... I had to put up there, I considered putting this one all the way up in A tier because uh, it really kind of hits close to home, um, and hopefully my wife doesn't see this, but what you call a successful clarinetist is, is a guy whose wife has two jobs, so thanks, thanks for all the work you do if you're watching this, honey. <laughs> Uh, now moving on to B tier. These ones are, are genuinely good, uh, and spoiler alert, I actually only have one joke in A tier. So these are the good ones. The A tier is like the best one. Uh, but going through B tier, uh, what's the definition of a nerd? Someone who owns their own alto clarinet. Now that's really good because I only know nerds who own alto clarinets. I don't even own my own alto clarinet. So I think this is really, really niche. Uh, 
not a lot of people know what an alto clarinet is, so if you're sort of a clarinetist, this one's particularly funny to you. Uh, what's the difference between a clarinet and garbage? At least the garbage gets taken out once a week. This one I just had to put in because it's a really good sort of jab at all of you who haven't been practicing and sometimes me, I've actually been doing a good job of practicing lately, but sometimes the clarinet stays in the case for over a week at a time and uh, yeah, it's not good. You should take your clarinet out, you should practice. Uh, I don't know if it's a funny joke, but I just had to encourage you to practice at least a little bit in this video. <laughs> and why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from the clarinet recital. This one's pretty funny. Uh, I think the chicken crossing the road, classic joke. Uh, and this actually maybe is a good, a good, uh, good response to why the chicken crossed the road. Although maybe it'd be better if they were going to the clarinet recital. That'd be maybe a bit more positive. I like clarinet recitals for the most part. <laughs> and finally, in B tier, what's the difference between a clarinet and a mouse? You can't hear a mouse squeak over the whole band. And this one I think is actually a good one. Uh, this, is, this is a pretty solid joke. Uh, I think it plays to the characteristics of the clarinet, where the clarinet is often known as being a little bit squeaky. And that's why so many of the other ones, especially in F tier, just weren't good because a lot of them played on the idea of like clarinetists not being smart or being lazy or things like that. And I don't think that fits the right stereotype for the clarinet. The thing that makes a really good instrument joke is that you really fit the stereotype. And I think the stereotype for clarinet is like neurotic and squeaky. I think that's, that's the kind of jokes that you want to make about the clarinet. Whereas dumb and lazy, I think that's more of like low brass, viola, saxophone, those kinds of, those kinds of instruments. So that's why I didn't like those jokes that were going along those lines because it's not quite the right personality. Which of course brings us to A tier, which is the absolute perfect joke for the clarinet. It best captures the essence of clarinetists and makes fun of them really well. So this is the one that I started the video with. How many clarinetists does it take to change a light bulb? And there's actually a ton of jokes for how many of whatever instrument does it take to change a light bulb. And they're usually pretty good because they, again, capture the essence of, of the instrument. So how many clarinetists does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but they have to go through a whole box of light bulbs to find the one that's just right. And of course, that's talking about our neuroticism for trying out different reads and finding the ones that's just right. So that is a good joke. If you want to tell a clarinet joke, I highly recommend that one. Uh, it's pretty popular, so you may have heard it before, uh, but let me know your favorite clarinet joke down in the comments. Of course, if you want more comment or more content like this, um, probably don't subscribe to my channel because I don't do a lot of stuff like this. Uh, but if you want educational clarinet content, learning how to play the clarinet really well, do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you can get notified. If you liked this more kind of fun, lighthearted content, then hit the like, leave me a comment and let me know and maybe I'll do more of it. But I definitely wanna hear your best clarinet and your best music jokes down in the comments because they're pretty funny. There, there are some good ones in here. So happy practicing. Thanks for watching this one and stay tuned next week for some more good educational stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.